expecting an agitated Ajax and he's hoping for it, Frank de Boer. Jensville, calmly. This is very stupid. Alan doesn't hesitate, takes a shot. And Ajax is making it very easy on Salzburg this way. Alan. Kampel is allowed to continue. Sillison hesitates. Kampel. No, it's not a goal. Brilliant. The ball bounces off the bar twice. Alan passes to Kampel, who's sprinting and reaches Sillison alone. And Ajax gets off scot free because the ball hits the bar twice. And then Denswill clears the ball, and he does that very well indeed. And here's another opportunity for Salzburg. When will they be successful? No, Alan misses. It's the 17th minute. And Salzburg have had three big opportunities, which they haven't seized. But Rhein with a good shot, almost a goal there. A header by Sigtorsson. Gulacci touches it with his hand. And I was counting on that going in. They've been celebrating for a week now. They're almost ready to celebrate the championship too. They are 17 points ahead of the number two in the league. Kampel, Soriano's run on, looks around him, then takes a shot himself, and what a shot it is! He looks to see if he can reach Allen, but he can't, and so he goes it alone, hits the post, Soriano. Leslie de Sa, he's fast, but so is Mane. Look at the Sa, it's really quite good, Leslie de Sa. He's the manliest player of them all on the Ajax side at the moment. Gulacci with one fist. Blint is there, the ball's brought back into the box. Interregger clears it, and that's another opportunity. Good save by Gulacci and a good attempt by Leslie de Sa. It's in the 38th minute, the second big opportunity for Ajax. There's Beckenbauer. The ball didn't reach Blind, and so there's a lot of room for Campbell again. Soriano, he's run on. And then they score an own goal. Yes, oh lads, what are you doing? Van der Horen, a lucky goal for Salzburg. But they've already had so many opportunities. Van der Horen, and then Sillison can't deflect it anymore. Bad luck for Van der Horen. Paulsen, flick on header to Sigtorsson, that's good. The Saar, now what? He tries it himself, just as he did before half-time, and so he's still one of the most dangerous players on the pitch. Mane, he sent away. Mane, it's 2 0. They failed to do it before half time, but they're doing it now. Seizing opportunities. Watch Mane run. He's onside and he's completely free. And everyone knows he's fast. A good pass by Lightgate. Ricardo van Rijn. That was necessary. Ulmer wins against the Saar. Mane, he's onside. All we need to do is wait for the next opportunity. Go for it, Soriano. 3-0. Oh, it's Amsterdam all over again. And they still have time to score even more. And there are no Ajax players at all to hinder Soriano. Sillison must despair. Boyan. Come on, Klaassen, shoot. The ball changes direction, it's a goal! I suppose everyone needs a bit of luck at some point. Ajax scores, albeit with the assistance of an Austrian leg. Ajax never stood a chance neither in Salzburg nor in Amsterdam. The total score 6-1 for Salzburg. How badly does this hurt? 
That's not pleasant, but we have a more important match coming up on Sunday. Is the National League more important than the Europa League? Well, at the start of it, you want to stay in it for as long as you possibly can, but at the end of the day, the National League is more important. It was your ambition to get a long way in the Europa League and to improve on your performances from previous seasons. It must be disappointing when that doesn't happen. Of course, that's disappointing. Against Milan, we were eliminated from the Champions League and then we ruined our chances in the first home match. We must also recognize that Salzburg have a very good squad. Of course, it's disappointing. We hadn't expected this. But after the first match, we knew it would be terribly difficult. They play in the same formation and so it's hard for us to play our own game. There were moments when we could and we should have done so. It was clear throughout the whole game that they were more eager to win than we were. We shot too high, they got in on the rebound. I'm disappointed about that. In the 87th minute, I saw Stefano Denswil go all out. He didn't even get a free kick against him for that. And that's the kind of play I want to see. Don't let them get away with it. I want to win every match, and whether that be 1-0, 2-0 or 3-0, to still have a chance of qualifying, that's another matter. I simply want to win every match. Nevertheless, you've been eliminated from the Europa League quite early on. Is that a big blow? Uh, the end of the day is always a big blow, because we wanted to progress. I think we were also unlucky, though, to be faced with an opponent that would have done well in the Champions League.